official um, video. Um, I'm going to make a Pokeball cake for a friend of mine. And I thought, since it's quite an unusual thing, I might as well make a video about it. Um, I've got lots and lots of ingredients today. Um, I've got sugar, I've got flour, I've got eggs, butter, vanilla extract, food colouring, some whipping cream, some jam, I've got ready to roll icing and then I've got some more icing and of course two cake tins. Okay, so today I'm going to make my cake using a food processor. If you don't have one, don't worry, just get a whisk and a bowl. We'll start off by mixing the butter and the sugar together. Okay, once this mixture is light and fluffy, we can start gradually adding the eggs and then adding the vanilla extract. Okay, last but not least, we're going to add the flour and I would recommend sifting it. Okay, once this is done, divide the mixture up into bits and put them in cake tins that are already greased. Okay, once this is done, spread the dough evenly across the base and then stick them in a preheated oven. Okay, now that the cake is ready, we need to get it out of the hot tin and put it on a wire rack to cool. Okay, once this is done, we can go and have a coffee. Okay, now while we're waiting on our cake to cool, I'd like to use this time to prepare um, one half of our icing. Uh, I've got ready to roll icing here, but the problem is they're both white and we need red icing. Now, white icing is very much unforgiving, so make sure you have an absolutely spotless surface to work with. If you're scared that the icing is going to stick on your surface, use some icing sugar. Now, what I want to do is basically work this icing like a dough and um, work into it some red food colouring. This is going to take quite a while because the icing tends to be really hard. It's also going to be a bit messy. Okay, once our icing is pretty much as red as it can get, um, put some icing sugar over it and wrap it in cling film and put it in the fridge to rest. Okay, before we can do anything else, we obviously need to clean this mess up. Okay, now let's get back to our cake. I'm gonna fill my cake with some jam and some whipped cream today. Okay, but before we can do anything with the jam, we need to shape our top cake. Usually, you would cut a flat surface, but actually today the dome works in our favour. Get a good knife and just exaggerate the dome shape a bit more. Now, don't worry if the cake isn't very pretty just now, we're gonna cover that up with icing anyway. Now, get the cake bottom and spread some jam all over it. Okay, do the same thing with the top cake, put it upside down and spread the jam. Now we can put the cake aside and whip the cream. Okay, same thing as before, get the whipped cream and spread it all over the base. Once this is done, get the top cake and put it on top. Okay, now I'm gonna let this cake rest for a couple of minutes in the fridge while I get my other icing ready. Now the deal with the white icing is quite simple, all we need to do is roll it out. But again, make sure your surface is absolutely spotless. If you don't trust it, do it on greaseproof paper. Get the icing sugar ready and make sure your hands are really clean as well. Okay, now all we basically need to do is we need to have one half white and one half red. So get the widest part of your icing and just draw a straight line. Okay, this straight line is basically going to be the middle of your cake. Now gently press down the icing on the sides so that it firmly hugs the cake. Okay, carefully cut off the excess. Now we need to do exactly the same thing with the red icing. Once this is done, cut off the excess again. Okay, now in order to make the big white button in the middle, we're simply going to cut out some of the white icing. Okay, I've got a big white circle here and a smaller white circle, and I'm just going to place them in the middle. If you want to make sure that they stick to the base of the cake, simply add a tiny, tiny bit of water. Okay, now to finish things off, I've got some black icing here that comes in a tube, and I'm just gonna make the black band around the cake. Okay, to finish things off, I'm just gonna make a tiny, tiny black circle around the little button. And that is how to make your very own Pokeball cake.